achieved. And we've just there heard the call out for main engine cutoff. There we have fairing separation and a successful stage separation. Look at those gorgeous onboard views. And that, and that <laughs> ignition of the upper stage ether engine. T plus three minutes, 22 seconds and counting. The upper stage now. All right, guys, we've got a new one to talk about here. I haven't talked about Astro yet. We just had a successful launch into orbit. That was the video there that I just showed you. And um, I'm expecting this to run quite a bit Monday. Now, my reasoning for that is that they did have to delay the launch. And this was in the market, so that caused a sell-off. Plus, we just had a pretty bad week for Astra last week. So I do expect this to run Monday. I will get into the chart in a second. But first, I wanted to show you here on their Twitter. I'll leave a link. But they did successfully reach orbit. Um, but very good stuff here. And this was about 11 hours ago. Okay, so the market was closed. Now, I think this is going to run because we did have a sell-off. You know, I'll leave the link to this article, too. It is 57% from its 52-week high of 2247. Uh, I don't necessarily see that happening, but we will definitely get into the teens, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, especially since right now we're at 9-something a share, although it did run a little bit after hours, uh, about 2%, okay? But that's the great thing about in the market, there is a sell-off because of the, you know, delayed launch. While well, the company said it will try to launch again tonight, investors appear to be in an unforgiving mood. And that, that you know, that did happen. We had a nice little sell-off here. And I'll be loading up. I actually did buy a little bit on uh, Friday. So I did buy a little Friday just because of the risk to reward. You know, if it's under $10, I do like to swing this one. I'll buy it under 10 Sell in the 10s and 11s just for a quick swing. Keep some. Keep some on the side, but just lock in some profits. And, uh, you know, it's been treating me well that way. And I may do the same thing Monday. I'm planning on buying pre-market. And guys, if you don't have access to pre-market, definitely check out Weeble. You can get some free stocks. I've got the link below. Um, but I will be buying pre-market as quick as possible and possibly selling some of it into the market. Although this could have a continued run Monday. Um, but that's just my speculation here. And looking at the chart, you do see that the MACD is curling up you do see that the RSI is right in the middle, at least for the one month. So this definitely, you know, looking at the RSI, this definitely has some room to run nice. This definitely has some room to run nice before uh, we become in that overbought territory and people start taking considerable profits. And looking at this, we were at about almost $11. We did have the sell-off with the uh, delayed launch and just the kind of rough market we had last week. So I am going to be picking it up here. It, right now, after hours, it is very close to about $10, though. But I can see this coming to about 12 no problem. So those right here, their last lo uh, their last rocket that failed caused a huge um, huge gap, huge sell-off. Uh, I remember this was like a Saturday. That following Monday, we had a huge sell-off into the market, and then we just kind of been downtrending, hit a base of about $8. That's where I see the downside of 8 but I doubt that, that it's going to see under 10 I bet I'd, I'd bet you anything that this is going to have a nice little run here. And I will be looking to skim some profits once we start reaching, uh, you know, 11 50 12 But it does depend on the momentum. You know, if we just see nothing but green, I will continue to ride it until I start seeing some red candles, then I will take some profits. But when you look at this, we were at a high of about $22, and it just sold off. It's been trying to pump, trying to trying to pump a little bit, I've just been having trouble. But this shows that they had a successful launch, and they will most likely have more in the future. This could be a long-term hold for some. This could be a swing trade for others. I think now is the time to get in personally. That's just my opinion, though, guys. Do your own research. But seeing that this did happen over the weekend, I don't think it's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news, because we did have all that negative pressure um, throughout the market, you know, we did have all that negative pressure with the delayed launch. So this wasn't necessarily expected. People kind of, um, you know, a lot of people just got out of this not knowing what's going on. So I definitely see this running, guys. Just keep an eye on it. I just wanted to get this out to you guys really quick. Um, I am planning on buying. I'm planning on loading the boat Monday pre-market. 
and maybe even calls. If it doesn't run up too much pre-market, I might buy some calls, um, but more lo like longer calls, you know, like 2022s, just to be on the safer side of things. I don't like short-term calls just because of the inherent risks, because if things don't go your way, you're going to get eaten alive by the time decay. And, you know, you don't want it to expire worthless. I would go personally with a 2022, you know, seeing what they have, maybe like a 1250, possibly a 15. Um, but it just depends on it depends on Monday, but I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that And I'm also going to be putting a video out here later tonight or tomorrow about the stocks that I've been buying last week You know, it has been a really nice week in terms of buying stocks We had a very rough week, but sometimes those weeks are my favorite So you can just load up on your favorite stocks and run towards those deals But thanks for listening guys, and I will see you on the next one